G'day guys, Define from Define Mods here. I guess you know what you're looking at here, it's a Prusa. And uh, if you know me, you, you know I don't mind um, uh, having a play with a different printer. And um, I'd never buy a Prusa, I'll be honest with you, so it's not something I'd, uh, I just can't, uh, I could never justify the amount of money that old Joe charges for one of these. Others can, yeah, obviously. Uh, but I just can't, I, I, I could never. Not here in Australia, uh, by the time the conversion's done and by the time we get our hands on one of the things, these things, we're looking at two grand. And um, way after after building one of these, there is no way on God's earth I'd pay two grand for one of these things. These are, um, you know, great for some, but just just, just not my uh, not my bag, baby. But uh, yeah, if I've got two grand to spend, I'm, I'm off to either buy a Voron or, or even a Bamboo Labs, you know. Um, you know, or, or, or even one of these things, you know, even a, even a hotted up end of three, you know, it's, there's value for money right there, you know, you pick these things up for 50 bucks here, you buy a Sprite for a hundred and something bucks, you, you, you jazz it up a bit, um, you can do little things like stick in a, um, a better uh, screen, you know, you can, you can butt ass about with them, you know, a big tree tech screen, um, and you get a really nice printer, like a really really nice printer but back to old joe's machine um so basically what i'm trying to do here is is uh because i am a stinge and i would never could never justify spending two grand on one of these but i could justify spending a few hundred on one and that's where i'm at with this one uh, this is this is a, an attempt at a, at a budget prusa build and basically what it is is that uh, initially um, I'd, I'd had a, an old um, uh, Anycubic Mega Mega 3 or whatever those tinny noisy things are and um, I, I just couldn't bring myself to use it or, or to sell it even <laughs> I just thought I, I can't fix it there's no there, you know there's just no reselling this thing so I, I, I tore it all down and I, I got a box full of parts of it you know I got all the all the rods and and all the other bits and pieces out of it and you know tons of screws i made a, if you're after screws mate rip an eye rip a mega and own any cubic i3 mega down mate you will get thousands of screws but um yeah so the original plan for this was is i thought oh you know one day i'll, I'll get to it um i know i've got plenty of parts laying around um and and the original um idea was to uh build a bear clone just use some profile cut up some profile to what I needed and I just built a bear, bear clone but recently I, I spotted an ad in our in our um, in, in one of our trading posts um, uh, and um, it was for this frame uh, frame and rods for 50 bucks and you just can't say no to that you know that's how do you say no to that so I'd say probably what's happened is is somebody's done a bear upgrade and they've had all this spare and uh, they've just sold it off you know, just to recoup some coin, I suppose. A lot of people don't want this stuff laying around once they, they do their upgrades. So on that note, I had a, a brand new frame pretty much and some some uh, some linear rods. Uh, didn't have bearings, but I had all the bearings out of the i3. Uh, a couple of, and I had a couple of spares floating around from, from bits and pieces here and there. Uh, our Core XY machines and stuff. So off I went, and this is pretty much where I'm at now. Um, it's a long way to go, um, but ju just 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 to let you in on, on you know I was you know it's one of those things where I was just going to take a picture at the end of it and post it up or a, a small video of it printing and, and post it up on YouTube. But I thought you know other people might be interested in into knowing how much they could get away with building one of these things for. Um, you know, I, I, look, I don't know what your conversion rates are overseas or if they're, they're, they're more value for money over there but you know there's 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 nothing this will do that that won't do and vice versa you know they just they both print you know they, it's just that simple um but anyway look basically you can see that uh, with the with the uh, lead screws i initially um started off printing the original uh, the original tops for them but uh, i didn't want to cut these lead screws so, you know I, I figured you know doesn't hurt to have them sticking out the top so there was a, a, a bearing version of these and I'm just running them straight up through a bearing um, I'm using the old steppers 
off the uh, i3 Mega, or I think whatever it was, but that old uh, Anycubic i3, so I'll run those steppers, which means I had to run uh, couplings for my lead screws, so if you buy Joe's steppers, he'll give you a, um, he'll give you steppers with that attached to the stepper, it's no big deal, not the end of the world, I've had a look at it, looks like I'll get my clearance out of that as it comes down, and if not, I can adjust this. That's all, um, I can reprint these and I can take a bit out of those if I want to. Um, I don't run the dual bearings inside like he runs, I've just got the long single one. I reckon that's more than good enough, I don't see a problem with that. Don't see a problem running the longer ones down here, apart from that. Oh, it's fucking noisy. Um, yeah, I don't see any problems with that. I, actually, I think um, simply because of the noise, you know, I noticed that with that i3. Uh, how noisy are these things are. Um, so what I may end up doing is there's a simple upgrade where you can just run your linear rails. I mean, listen to that. These are cheap linear rails too, and they're beautiful. So I may end up just putting a couple of those on. I've got plenty here and fart ass about with. Um, a bed, I'll have to get a, hand, uh, a handle on a bed. I always thought I could just convert the the uh, the, 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 the any cubic one over, and I can, but I, I'd rather keep it the full size, I think these get up to 245 or 255 or something like that. And the only cubic's only about 230 if that. So I might as well get the proper bed. That's a, um, um, I'll get into cost anyway. I'll, get, I'll, I'll start sort of running through my, my, my figures as I go along and give you an end result in, in another video right at the right at the very end. Uh, the motherboard, that's a gen, it's supposed to be a genuine you know, whatever motherboard. Um, I got that for 50 bucks. Um, so you know I'm up to a hundred bucks already you know so it's starting to start yeah you know, in, in my mind it's starting to get up there you know for a pruser anyway for what you're getting um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll probably have to buy the bed so I think they're about 75 bucks complete with the bottom and the top um, so we're, we're up somewhere close to you know a couple of hundred bucks now a couple of plus that um, Screens, I got lucky with the screens. Um, I had some old screens laying around from the 50s, from 1950s, and uh, yeah, these old, these old things, mate. Jesus Christ, come on, Joe, give us a break, seriously. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm going as you can see, I'm going to go with the, for the, with the theme. Uh, that's the uh, I think it's called the Ultimate Prusa Casing theme. I'm going to go with that. I like that. There's these big chunky bits you print, stick on the side, and you know it looks like a spaceship that's landing. I like that. That's gonna that's gonna suit me fine. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, to be honest. I've got I've got no real need for it, or, 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 or but you know it'll be fun building it and, and seeing what it what, what it can be built for. In the end, um, I've got some old Gates belts. Um, they're off a um, uh, a decommissioned um, switch wire build that I did a while back. Uh, that one there, I just, again, I, I re honestly, I've really got no need for bed slingers at this stage of my, my printing, my printing journey. They just, they don't offer me anything, you know, that you just can't get from a simple cheap Core XY now. Or even, even a H-Bot, <laughs> you know, just grab a H-Bot. Um, you know, as you can see, there's still heaps up there. These are all upgraded, so, you know, they've all, all had something done to them, or going to get something done to them. That's a, a CR6SE, and basically you put that that hot end, the CR, the Sprite Pro kit on it, and you've got a an S1 Pro. Yeah, that's basically what you're looking at. I, I don't know what they. You know, I think they sell for seven or eight hundred dollars here in Australia. Those bloody things, or well, you buy them for that. So you pick up a CR6SE for you know 180, <laughs> put a Sprite on, and you got a really, really you got you got up to date super duper machine. That's probably the best uh, bed slinger I've ever owned. Believe it or not, she's a dinosaur, but she's a beauty. But yeah, anyway, back to this one. Um, so, hot end, I'm not real sure. Um, I may just grab a Sprite Pro and adapt the Sprite Pro onto it. Maybe give it the fan mod. So, you know, just grab a, a Sprite Pro and add on, add on the fans. Um, it's Jill Z, so it's not going to be a problem. But I think that that would be a really easy solution for 150 bucks, and that, in my opinion, is as good as whatever they're offering up for, for uh, whatever Joe's offering up. But in saying that, I would like to try and get the the Prusa experience. 
you know, just not for uh, not for 900 bucks a year or two grand a year or whatever they are. Um, so I may, I may, you know, I may, um, I got an old, um, an old, well, there it is. I'm pretty sure that's the hot end Joe uses, the uh, E3D V6 thing. So I've got that. Maybe I might run a, um, a Rapido. I'm not sure. But either way, I think I've got some um, clones. Maybe just a clone, you know. I've got, I got some Volcanoes. Some V6 Volcano hot ends, uh, um, you know. It's, it's, you know, I can make up my mind what I want to do, and then, then maybe grab a um, a Joe extruder. Um, maybe just grab a Joe extruder. I just had a, a print finish. Cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. What, 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 you know, no rush on that front. Um, but other than that. You know, I think I think you guys get the gist of what's going on here. I, I think, in the end, um, of course, power supply. You know, I should be able to get this built for you know, maybe under four hundred bucks. And I think four hundred bucks for the uh, the Joe Prusa experience isn't a bad way to go. Certainly, a lot better than nine hundred dollars second hand. That's second hand or two grand new here. Um, but we'll see how we go, and I'll keep you updated, keep you posted as as I add bit by bit, and as I you know as parts come through I think the next part I'll be expecting in the next three maybe four weeks should be the bed hopefully that doesn't take too long to come from AliExpress and then um, uh, on with the power supply I'll test the screen out too like I say it's it's just just this old thing from the 1950s look at that Jesus um, I think that one there came out of an old Folgatech or yeah that that one's out of a, um, a TiVo tarantula one of the really early TiVo tarantulas I bought that dirt cheap and just scrapped it for parts and um, this was a big core XY machine a Folgatech this thing was huge it's, it's under the desk down there now it may become a, may become a boron conversion one day maybe a uh, you know a large foron we'll see see how that one goes but yeah just a little tip um i, I went i saw this online on the way that's that's going to be cool and uh they are they got this 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 thing where you print it uh, i printed this on one of the other printers and then you print the inlay to stick in but um this <laughs> yeah you're pushing shit uphill if you're going to get that to stay in there without glue. And the second you add glue, wow, well, that's the mess you start making. So I just took it into the bamboo labs, sliced it in there, and just added the colour in. Mate, it looks a hundred times better. No dramas. Yeah, that's what you buy for two grand. Get a bamboo labs, you know, X1, 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 uh, X1 carbon, X1C fantastic machine that's been printing non-stop every day now for at least three months and it hasn't missed a beat 24 7 we have not given this thing a break we haven't had a jam we haven't had a, a drama we haven't you know it's just it's just rock solid machine the bamboo lab but there it is i'll, I'll be a, a prusa member and i'll get on the forums with everybody else and, and brag about how good they are <laughs> if you know me how bad they are and uh, yeah, and I'll be part of the, the Joe Prusha family. See you next one, guys. Cheers.